What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Mike Double Ladder with a Hidden Ability Cinderace and Hidden Ability Rillaboom team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Rocking out on this front spot of the team is this Libero Cinderace with the extra belt having this move set of bounce, high jump kick, soccer punch, and iron head. One thing I probably would change about this Cinderace is take off bounce. Give it Pyro Ball once again. You always got to have a fire move on Cinderace. But Bounce could actually work very, very well. Especially if we Dynamax, we can get those max airstreams. Stab as well and get that speed boost. But like I said, I'd probably rather have a fire move on him. We also have Special Attacking Duraludon right next to it with normal move setup dark pulse flash cannon trickle meteor and dragon tail it's actually holding the focus sash which you don't see too too much so hopefully that can come up clutch and it's normal ability of stalwart we got rillaboom in the middle right with his life orb and grassy surge oh my god yo you guys know i've been loving the new hidden abilities especially rillabooms so much fun to use with that grassy surge you give it the life orb with the grassy terrain out stab grass moves are just doing so much damage just dominating taking out mad pokemon it also has knockoff wood hammer fake out and superpower i really do like this move set as well i can take off items i can fake out if i'm not trying to dynamax and i have superpower for a nice big physical fighting move we got halucha who actually pairs up well with the grassy surge real boom holding that grassy seat and that unburden ability so once it comes in with the grassy terrain we get that defense boost no item which means unburden ability pops our speed goes up and then we have close combat for stab brave bird for stab fire punch and iron head for coverage so i can just dynamax him after i get him out in grassy terrain he can run in and just dominate and then in the bottom spot we got two tailwind pokemons with the whimsicott holding that cobra berry and that defiant braviary holding that lumberry so depending on the situation that will tell me which tailwind pokemon to go in with but guys if you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen and i'm going to be doing a question of the day for today's video and that is going to be so the new dlc is coming out very very soon probably i think it's going to be next week i believe yeah it's next week would you guys rather me do like a quick little playthrough on it like show off the dlc of me playing through it or just go straight into rank battles with the new pokemon i think i'm planning on doing uh just play through it like doing like three two to three episodes of me just doing the dlc and then hopping back into the rank battles but if you guys want me to just not even do the playthrough and just go with the rank battles let me know in the comment section down below but without further ado let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this hidden ability cinderace and hidden ability rillaboom team first battle coming at you guys we're seeing a little bit of a mirror matchup here he has a hidden ability rillaboom and hidden ability cinderace as well we are actually sitting in match vault here i pushed it during my stream so if you guys want to check out my stream and hang out with me link is in the description below go check that out hit that follow button turn on notifications come talk it up ask me questions if you have any and just come chill but first battle like i said we're seeing a mirror matchup mm. we should i go into i'm thinking of setting the tailwind and kind of just taking a speed advantage going maybe whimsicott into Cinderace and then bring a real boom and hallucin in the back i feel like that can work out very very well or i can just have him set the terrain and maybe no 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 i can't i can't rely on that i can't rely on that so we're gonna go tailwind with cinderace that covers a lot right there because cinderace is just all stabbed through with a bunch of coverage moves so that's just wonderful and that is why i want pyro ball i really wish i had pyro ball here like pyro ball could work out so good it really could but we do have a flying move which can also work out just as well with that uh roll boom that's not too bad um, let's go those two and then yeah, let's go Rillaboom and Halucha in the back end. We can save them for back end Pokemon so I can eventually get that Halucha in and get that uh Grassy Seeds rolling with that unburdened ability, boosting our speed, boosting our defense, and rolling out from there. This team has probably like like a lot of good leads. Like I think Halucha and Rillaboom is such a good lead, but I feel like also Tailwind Advantage is huge. I think depending on the situation we can go into Rillaboom and Halucha, but most situations I feel like we want to get that tailwind set up, but we want to roll out from there. Um, do I want to Dynamax turn 1? That's my real question. I could Dynamax turn 1 and just go for max airstreams. Instead of, or I could just go for a bounce, but I don't really like how bounce works. Um, I, we have speed advantage already. We have speed advantage already, so I'm not going to even set the Tailwind. I'm just going to go into a straight Iron Head and a Moonblast. I think that's the call. Or do I bounce up? Now nah, I'm going to go straight for an Iron Head. And this is weakness policy. Is he going to Dynamax? He is going to Dynamax. I think it's going to be that Tokus Super Luck. I can save. Like, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I can save uh, my Real Boom and my uh, Lucho and my Dynamax for that back end. But, oh, he is going to go into the Conkledor. Conkle? Bonkledor right here. Bonkle Conkledor. That's totally fine. I'm going to switch to Steel Typing, which uh, is scary if he's going for a... Uh, that, he might have read that. He might have read that hard. Not even going to lie. Let's see what happens here. Follow me. Just come out. That's totally fine. We're going to double up into this, uh, this Togi Wogi. 
And Iron Head's gonna come out here. This thing is Babiri Buried, is it? Nope, we're just changing typings. Nope, it is Babiri Buried. <laughs> okay, so it is Babiri Buried. We're gonna hit this thing up. Still, he doesn't really take it too, too well. Half damage there. And uh, Moonblight's gonna come in here, not pick up the KO, I don't think, but still do a little chip damage here. Yo a bad damage, let's get it. Oh, get a crit. Oh, Jeans is on the day. Hailstorm's coming through. And that is going to take out the Whimscott, which is, uh, I mean, that's not really too tough. It's not really too bad. Maybe I should have set up the Tailwind, but, hmm. I thought maybe he was going to go after a Cinderace. But I still think uh, our team's rather fast, so I think we should be fine now. Okay. All right. Um, do I Dynamax? How, do, how should I play this? I could Dynamax. We know who's faster. We know the Cinderace is going to be faster. Does Buffett take out Togi? Wow, dude. Real close. This thing guts. This thing is... I don't know if it's guts. Like, I want to go into here. Hmm. That's so tough. I'm going to go Rillaboom. Hmm. Do I knock off that thing's item? Just potentially have him take me out. And then have that whole Lucha come in here and sweep out. Like, again, I know I have the speed advantage all day. I know I have that speed advantage. I'm just going to set the uh, terrain here. I'm going to have uh, Cinderace come in here take out that Togekiss. If we think it's Rock and Protect, it might be, but still. Hmm. Do I try to knock off that item? Like, what do we think he's holding? Maybe it's uh, Expert Belt? Something along those lines. I'm going to knock off its item, even though it's not very effective. We're still going to go after that. And then I'm just going to uh, go for a... Where do I bounce? Bounce could be uh, pretty nice. He goes from Cinderace, but I think he's just going to go for another Hailstorm, right? He's got to be going for just another Hailstorm. So I'm just going to uh, Iron Head out here. This Vril Boom does go down here. You got to follow me to just come out. That's totally fine. Okay, so Iron Head's going to take out that, and then we're going to knock off this thing's item. And I think Vril Boom's going to go down here, and then we just roll out into a, our Halucha with the Grassy Seed. Unburdened Ability is going to be rolling with Dynamax, and we can potentially just roll out the rest of the game after that. Let's see what happens here. Knockoff comes out. Yoot! What item are you holding? Give me that item, boy. Extra belt. He's life orb. Oh, beautiful. I didn't even notice he was holding the life orb. Another hailstorm. No, Knuckles coming through. The bounce could have been the call, but still. Bounce could have been the call, but we're fine. Okay, I'm cool with that. Roll boom and Halucha coming in here. That's, dude, that's chilling. That is chilling. He's going to super effective. Max Knuckle boosts his attack. And I could airstream, but I think this thing might uh, protect or max guard. Though, we're not sitting in a bad position, not going to lie, because he is... Is he done his turns? No, he's not. He has one more, but I think he's going to guard. I really do think he's going to guard here. We have Stab, and we have this Unburden. We got our speed. We are rocking out pretty strong here. Let's get rolling. He does have the uh, the Ice Moon. The Hailstorm. So, we might. it's either we double into him, or we make the read of the Max Guard. What is the call? What is the call? So I don't want to get one-tapped by this thing. He doesn't have a Life Orb, though, which is huge. Let's get this out here. Halucha, baby! And Cinderace is going to pop out as well. I think we are faster than the Cinderace, which is going to be uh, pretty nice. Well, the Halucha is at least. So maybe we just take out the Cinderace. Gracie C boosts our defense, and now we are in burden. I do not have Fake Out anymore. What should I just want to go for a knockoff here? Hmm. I'm going to go for a Woodhammer. And I think I'm going to Dynamax and uh, take out the Cinderace. That's got to be Liberio Cinderace, right? I think Max Airstream just takes him out. Hmm. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna go after a Cinderace and drop an airstream. What you want, fool? What you want? Come on, show me your garden. You gotta be guarding. Like, come on. You gotta be guarding considering I have a Halucha coming at you. Well, who's faster? Who's super effective with stab? Like, come on, man. You gotta see. You gotta go with the guard. Come on, give us a read. Give us an early read. I want to get this nice big fat win right off the rip. Let's get it. Show me the guard. Show it to me. Show it to me. It does not guard you, hunk of junk. We're going to airstream this airstream take out. It does. Whoa. Whoa. Buffett is going to take that thing out. Is that thing sashed or just lucky duck? Might just be a lucky duck. Let's see what happens here. Wood hammer comes out. Yoy. Not bad damage from the wood hammer, baby. And I think Hailstorm's going to pop off here. Fireball comes out here. And oh, we dodge it. Yo, that is lovely. Hailstorm's coming at uh, Halucha. If Halucha survives us, we should be chilling here. He, does, he has no life orb. And we do survive. Okay. All right. So we got the speed. We got the speed now. We can take out Conqueror. Oh, this is going to be a close one. This is going to be a close one. This is going to be a close one. 
It's coming down, guys. It's coming down. Who is this final mod? Good thing that Pyro Ball missed. Okay, that's nice. But I'm thinking we should have took that Cinderace out. He's legit surviving on one. Like, come on. Get out of my face. Okay. So, Conqueror has Protect. We know that. We know that. So, I might just go into a Wood Hammer. Oh, whoa. This one's going to be real close. This one is going to be so close. I don't even know what I do here. This one's going to be real close. I mean, we're flying, so we cannot EQ us. So, I think I just go for the... Uh, I gotta take out Conqueror here. I'm gonna go for the wood hammer over here. Do I flare that thing? And bring it down to potential sash? I think it's gotta be sash, right? And we change up the weather. But then we need buffets in here too. We do need buffets. I'm gonna go for the knuckle. I'm gonna go for the knuckle. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna go for a mock punch. Eat this up. Oh no! No, please! That's whack. That is whack. Flare or knuckle comes out. If this thing's not sash, we win. This thing is not sash, we win. Wait, Buffett's coming out, but he's gonna hit us. He's gonna hit us. That's whack. That is whack. Miss your attack, buddy. Miss your attack. Miss it. Nope. GG. <laughs> Yo, battle number one goes to him. That's all good. That is all good. That was actually a really good match. Really close match. Um, I feel like we should uh, if, if we would have got that tailwind up, maybe we would have had something different rolling. But still, GG. 0-1 for battle number one. Second battle coming at you guys. We lost that first one. It was hard fought, but we ended up getting that L in the end. So we're looking for our first win for the video. Going up against a Glaceon team right here. I might actually just go same team. We can set up Tailwind and we can roll out pretty strong. Not even gonna lie. Hmm. Hmm. Let me, let me, th let me, let me take a think. Another thinker again. I mean, he might go Tailwind with that Draco Fish, which could be, could be pretty scary. Could be pretty scary. Um, he has the Haxorus as well. The Tokus. You guys already know Tokus is a. Pretty tough to come by. I might go Doral down with Stalwart. And then bring, uh... Do we even bring? Actually, I really do like the Grassy Surge. I could lead the Grassy Surge, but I think we gotta get Tailwind up. And I might go with a uh, Stalwart in the back end. Maybe just go, uh, like, Bureau Cinderace, Rillaboom, and, uh, Doral down here. And not even bring the Hulucha with the Grassy Seed. Yeah, yo, let's roll out with that. Let's roll out with that, baby. Let's get rolling. I really do like, uh, the Stalwart. Gives us a special attacker in here as well. As the last battle, we just had all physical attackers besides Wim Scott, but Wim Scott don't count. Wim Scott does not count. It's fine. It's fine. But who is he going to go into? I think he's going to lead potentially uh, Draco Fish and uh, Wim Scott. Definitely Wim Scott. Or maybe just go Toe Kiss with the Follow Me and lead someone else like the Raladon. But let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm looking for that first win with this team. I'm really liking this team. I am really liking the, uh, the layout of this team with both hidden abilities, the Grassy Surge and the... Uh, and the Libero, it just works so well. But the, or all three, I should say, of the new hidden abilities are phenomenal. They are so good on the rank ladder. But he goes Togekiss and Haxorus, which I'm cool with. I could go for a Moonblast, but I think this uh, Haxorus is definitely Sash. I'm thinking this Haxorus is 100% Sash. Right? This thing has a uh, Mold Breaker on it. Uh, I am going to Tailwind. Get rolling strong here. Start off. And then I think I'm, do I just roll into an Iron Head? I think I'm going to roll into an Iron Head. This thing might be very buried, but I think he's going to Dynamax turn one, potentially. Or he might just go into Follow Me and keep both these mods. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. What you want, fool? Either way, I get up this Tailwind, which is wonderful. If he doesn't have a Wimscott in the back, which I don't think so. I think he's going to Dynamax Tokus and try to take speed advantage just by throwing Airstreams and going that way. So Tailwind is going to be huge. We're going to get off an Iron Head on this thing and roll from there. But what you want, fool? Here comes Dynamax, like I said. Like I said, you Dynamaxing. But let's make sure it is the Togekiss. It's gotta be Togekiss, right? Or is it Haxorus Maximus? He's gonna go Haxorus Maximus over here. That's totally fine by me. And I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I got my Doraladon. I got Dedon. I wonder what he's gonna go into. That's a real question. And follow me gonna come from him? No, follow me. That one comes first. We're gonna pop off a nice little Iron Head. I think it's gonna go in into an Air Slash into my, uh, into my uh lit up my Wimscott. No but Beery Berry either, which is nice. So do we one tap? We almost one tap. That was a close one. We almost one tap. And this thing, what is that? Eject button? Or no. WP! WP! Get out of here. It's WP now. And then a Max Quake is gonna come through over onto my my Cinder Ace. Bop is dead. Cinder Ace goes down in one shot. Change the steel. He has the quake on him. I should I should have known the moveset this thing had. It says uh it's a normal moveset. It has a Protect, a uh, Dragon move, and a Steel move with Iron Tail. Iron Tail, Earthquake, and uh, Dragon Tail. 
Oh, he's Dragon Tail. Oh, we get that flinch, though. That is wonderful. Uh, do I get out the route on, or do I just Dynamax him straight into this thing? What do I want to do? What do I want to do here? I think I get off this thing, and I just drop a huge Draco Meteor. And Wimscott takes out the Toad Kiss with a uh, Moon Blast, and I think we just drop a Draco Meteor here. I'm gonna go Moon Blast, take you out. I could go Dragon Tail. Or I could just Dynamax. I should have the speed advantage. I'm gonna Dynamax this uh, Duraldon. I'm Dynamaxing Duraldon. You give me no reason not to. There's no way you have Ally Switch. You can go for a follow me, that's totally fine. Like, I'm stalwart it. Let's see what he does. He might guard here. But I should have speed advantage all day as I am in the tail when he has no speed boost. He has one special defense boost, but still. I still think we're gonna be going to do some massive damage to this thing. And he cannot take me out in one shot because we are Sash. He has quick, but it's not stat. It is not sad, which is huge. Come on, baby, what you want, boo? <laughs> I think Haxorus is so cool, and I like how they added a bunch of different pseudo legendaries to this game. Like, all of them. Like, most of them, besides like, Dragonite, Salamence. But I feel, I feel like they're going to get added in the DLC. But down goes Tokus. We get big old Duraludon. Good thing we did bring in Duraludon here. That was, like, my last call opportunity. And we do get the minus one on the attack board, which is huge as well. How much damage are you doing? Close to the KO. Moonblast should be able to pick that up later. But the minus one attack is uh, big. It's going to be big. I think he's going to drop a Quake here. And what is this thing? Oh, White Herb. Okay, I was going to say, how, does this thing have weakness policy? <laughs> I was going to say. I was like, how did you get two Pokemon with, with weakness policy? We eat that up so well. So well. Easy eats. Easy eats. I'm glad. It's glad, It's good to know that we do have the, uh, the advantage right here. He's plus two on special defense, so. Might have to guard up again. I may not guard up. I might have to uh, Worm Wind over on him again. Moonblast might not be able to take it out as he is plus two on special defense. That's tough. That is tough. Will it? I don't know. Wish I had like Calx right up next to me. Like, will Moonblast take out Haxorus when he's plus two special defense? Here are his stats. Like, there you go. But <laughs> no, we do not have that. Do you guys consider that cheating? The people who have like a second monitor and they have the Calx up at all times? Like, I, I know some YouTubers will do it, but I, I don't know what to consider it. But like they'll just be like they'll type in the calcs and all that and see how it works out. I'm gonna say Moonblast does take out. I'm gonna go Moonblast over on you. I'm not gonna worm win over on Dedon. This thing might guard anyway. But we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Come on, Moonblast. I need you big here. I need you big here, Moonblast. I need a big old Moonblast take out this Hexers. See what happens here. Moonblast comes in, take him out. Yes, sir. Let's go. Big old moon blast coming in clutch. Coming in clutch, moon blast, and we get this warm wind over on this Dedon. He has no Dynamax. We took out Tokus. We take out that, and we have Grassy Sir Drill Boom in the back. Big old damage, yo. We want that. Was that a crit? Was that a crit? That might have been a crit. Was not, dude. Just absolutely dominate there. Beautiful. You love to see it. Okay. We still have or our tailwind might be over. Oh, we go Draco Fish. He going Draco Fish. We're fine here. We're totally fine here. Wait, let me see if my Tailwind's up. I think we have one more turn in Tailwind. Let me, let me give a quick peek. Let me give a quick peek. We have one more turn in Tailwind, so this little Moon Blast is going to come out here. And then drop another Worm one. And pretty much GG. Didn't even have to bring out that Rillaboom for a second battle. Ran it pretty well. And this should be game. I don't think, I don't think a Moon Blast takes it out. Let's see. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. I, I knew it brought it close, but okay, the round on outspeeds it with the Tailwind. GG, beautiful. Wait a minute. We just wrecked that battle. We just wrecked that battle. Now we're one and one. Now we're gonna hop into battle number three. You know what battle number three means when we're one and one. We're going for that winning record. Let's get it, guys. Ooh we guys. This guy has all three hidden abilities on one team. He has the sniper, the Libero, and the Grassy Surge starters right here with a Wimscott for Tailwind, Arcanine for Intimidate, and the Raladon as a nice little special attacker alongside with that Italian. But who should I lead? Do I have to go Tailwind? I really wanted to lead Rillaboom and Halucha this game. I mean, Unburden could be great, and then we could just go out with the speed advantage. I could totally do that, which I think I am going to do it. I think we're going to go Halucha into you. Get that Unburden. We can outspeed from there and then just Airstream around. Um, hmm. Do we say he goes into Arcanine? I don't think he goes into Arcanine. Just because of that Defiant Braviary. Or I could read it and go into Defiant Braviary. But I say we're fine. I'm going to bring my Cinder Race back here. 
And then in the back end, we're going with D-Dom. What you want, fool? We coming for you, baby. We coming up. Let's get it. I want this win. Let's get this winning record, guys. Let's get this winning record. By the time this video goes live, it is going to be, I know what day it is. We are going to be streaming viewer tournaments over on my Twitch channel. So if you are interested, hop into that link in the description below. I might be live as this uh, video goes live. Actually, probably not. Probably another like two hours after this video goes live. The viewer tournaments will be starting. I, be, I usually like to do it 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Somewhere around that range. Just turn on that notification so you know. So you know. But Grassy Search gets popping, so not a bad lead. We should have total speed advantage here. With just my Halucha. With just my Halucha. With just Halucha. Unburden comes out here. I know we're outspeeding everybody here. I'm going to Dynamax and I'm going to boost our speed over here. And then I think I'm just going to drop a Wood Hammer over on Inteleon. I actually could have faked out. What am I doing? What am I doing? I totally forgot that this Roll Boom has fake out, but... Whack. That is whack. I wish I could hit B. Like, B, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean it. I should have thought a little bit more. I totally could have went for the fake out. And then get that speed advantage, take out that one Zagat, and we could have been sitting pretty. We could have been sitting so well. Unless it's Koba Berry, but still. But still. Deans fails again. And then we could have got another speed boost, took out the Italian. Oh my god, we could have been running this match. But, you know, Gene said he wanted a little bit of a challenge. We're not going to go for the fake out. Let's see what happens here. Tailwind, right? Tailwind comes out here. What's that Inteleon doing? Is he going for like a Ice Beam Blizzard? What's he doing? Let's see what happens here. Air Slash comes out here. Please do not take me out. Eat it up, buddy. I love you, Rollboom. He's gonna get the flinch, watch. He's gonna get that flinch. Airstream comes through. This thing's probably Sash. Is it Sash? It is Sash. Okay, that's fine. That thing is Sash. We get the speed boost. And Rollaboom, please just stop on this Italian. Come on, Rollaboom. Rollaboom, do him dirty. Do not flinch here. You got this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See you later, Italian. Built in that grassy surge. Night, night, buddy. Sniper, you do not pick up that crit. Sorry. Sorry, little boy. And we do survive. Oh, no. Life or damage. <laughs> I was going to say, we did survive. But, you know, the life or damage and the recoil on top of that takes us out. Um, I think Wimscott does go into... I said we bring out Cinderace. And do we think we sucker punch this thing? I'm thinking this Wimscott's going into a Moonblast. I'm, th I'm really thinking Wimscott does go into the Moonblast. But I think I might just sucker punch. Arky Poo comes out here, which, oh, was such a good play. Such a good play. He hits us up with that minus one. He says, yo, slow your roll, kids. This is trash, good. But slow your rolls. Minus is our attack. And, hmm. Mm-hmm. We go for a flare. <laughs> but I say we just, uh, push the airstream over on this Give us that speed again. We just keep boosting our speed. And, I'm going to say Sucker Punch. I'm going to say Sucker Punch here. Let's say we take this thing out with a sucker punch. You're going for a moon blast, aren't you? Liberia, yes sir. Yes sir. Nice little sucker punch call here. This should be able to KO this little health right there, even though it's not very effective. Yep, we picked that up. And we changed the dark typing as well, which could be nice. Let's see what happens here. Airstream coming out. And we start taking full on speed advantage here. Not bad damage, not bad damage. Another one will pick up the KO. And he still has his Dynamax, which I think he's saving for this next uh, Pokemon here. This next little Mon. Oh, and ooh, the Citrus Berry popping. A little Citrus Berry action. And what is this thing going for? I think he's going to burn my Hilucha. No, he goes for a Wild Charge, which we eat up perfectly. Like, hmm, that's just easy. That's easy eats. And the vehicle of damage is coming out here. Uh, do I Knuckle to bring back our stats? What is the call here? What is the call? It really depends who this next Pokemon is. Like, I got speed all day here. It is a Cinder Ace. It is a Cinder Ace who he is definitely Dynamaxing. And my Hilucha should be able to outspeed it. What do we think? Uh, what typing? No, he's, he's just going to say that. Uh, do I knuckle onto it? I'm going to knuckle over on the Cinderace. And uh, he's got to be Dynamax, I think. So, do I bounce? Or do I go for that high jump kick? They're all stabbed. This is 130. We're going for that high jump kick on this thing. I'm going for it. I'm doubling up on this thing. He's got a Dynamax, right? And then D-Don's in the back, but still, Liberia Cinderace is just so strong. He can go for a max knuckle and probably just one-tap my Duraldon. But we are focused, actually. I don't remember that. Arcanine might protect as well, so I'm doubling up into this thing. Let's just see what happens here. I'm surprised he didn't go for the burn, but he's a uh, full-on attacking uh, Arcanine with the fairy move, the fire move, the lightning move, and the protect. Let's see. Does it protect? He does not. But knuckle comes through. We're going to boost our attack back to normal here. 
Not bad damage. Can a high jump kick pick up this KO? With the 130 base. Oh no, never mind. That's crit. That's crit. I thought that was just normal damage. Get that attack boost. We're back to normal. Land this high jump kick, buddy. Airstream comes through. Oh, he's changing. He's changing. He's gonna take out my Halucci here. He's gonna take out my Halucci here, right? Yeah. Halucci goes down. I really need this high jump kick to connect. I really need it to connect. Get that speed boost as well. So his Cinderace is gonna be flying. He's gonna be flying. Actually, his Arcanine is gonna be outspeed me. His Arcanine is going to outspeed me. Oh no. No, please. No, please. Leave me alone. Wild Charge comes out. Um, we should be fine there. We eat that up. Come on, high jump kick, connect. I need you here, buddy. I need you here. High jump kick. We change? Do we connect? We do connect. And he switch typings, which was which was huge for him. Which is huge for him. He switch typings. Whack. Okay. Okay. How? Um, hmm. So he does. I mean, if Tailwind goes out, then my Cinderace could be in a speed tie with that, right? I have the sash. I do have the sash with this thing, so I think he is going to drop a knuckle on me. Hmm. Does he still have Tailwind? He might still have Tailwind. I thought, I thought he's out of turns. Got one more whack. That's it. Speed advantage is all him. Hmm. Mm mm mm. I think we gotta go into the center race here. I go for a sucker punch? Yeah. I think he's gonna take out my Cinderace, so we might as well go for our sucker punch and try to get some damage here. Maybe get a crit, maybe pick up the KO somehow. Let's see. Get it, get it. Oh, yes, sir. Didn't even need the crit, baby. Didn't even need it. Sucker punch coming up big there. Coming up big. That was a big play for us. Big, big play for us. Sucker punch is huge. Player Blitz comes through. And is that going on my... Who's that going on there? Am I the route on? He's totally fine with that. Beat that up. We got a flash cannon. His tailwind's gone. Uh, we're going to start taking speed. Well, my Cinderace will go first. Or maybe Flash Cannon takes out for the win. No, but so we have Sucker Punch. I'm just going to spam Sucker Punch and uh, attack with my Duraludon. And GG, yo. Final battle. Not bad. Didn't even need that Tailwind Pokemon. Nice lead for us to go into that Halucha and that uh, Grassy Roller Boom. But still, the Light Bureau Cinderace is really shine in this battle. His and mine as well. Like, it's just such a good ability. Really good ability. Um, I'm just going to drop a Meteor. Actually, no. We're just going to go with the Dark Pulse. Higher accuracy. Can't afford to miss. We cannot afford to miss. And then Sucker Punch to pick up the KO. Is he going to cancel? He cancels. And we go 2-1. and one, And we grab that winning record for this video. Awesome team right here. I love the hidden ability Cinderace and the hidden ability Rillaboom all on the same team. The whole team actually gelled really well, especially with that Halucha rocking out with the Grassy Surge. I really did like this team, and I thought it was pretty strong on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.